Well, hey there, everybody. This is me again in my Raymer Wood Yard splitting wood. It's my new favorite thing to do with my new log splitter. It is a Wolf Ridge 17 RS. The 17 stands for the tonnage of the log splitter, and the RS stands for resplit. Because most big firewood production companies. Um, use a processor to split their firewood from logs in like eight foot um, log size to 12 foot log sizes and um, obviously I don't have a firewood processor so mine are just individual little 16 inch pieces for the most part um, but it's been a lot of fun and this is a um, this is a poplar tree that was on our property that was hanging over um, a swimming pool pretty close to our swimming pool so I fell it and I don't know it was probably 12 inches or so 12 14 inches in diameter I like the smell of poplar it smells it has kind of like a, a lemon type smell to it if you all ever remember the lemon heads we used to go to our um, uh, gas station up the road from us growing up on I believe it was Wednesday night I want to say it was Wednesday night candy night it's either Wednesday night candy night or Friday night candy night and my candy night and my grandfather used to take us and uh, this place called WT's up the road from us and I used to love getting lemon heads and they were about 10 cents for a little box of them and I loved them but it kind of reminds me of that that smell but some people don't like the smell but I like it and um, it's a pretty easy split in wood poplar is um, but it'll rot really fast if you don't get it off the ground and, and let it dry out and get the let the Sun get to it in the wind and so it's not a great burning firewood but it catches really easily and um, so I'm, I'm just using it for kindling it takes a long time to process wood into kindling um, I actually use a fro. I have been using a fro until I got a uh, wood splitter, and the wood splitter does short work of making kindling for sure. Um, but the fro was pretty neat, and I was so excited about getting the fro. It was like an old pioneer type tool that um, people used to use to make wooden shingles cedar shingles white oak shingles um, it's pretty neat and so I try to do that with our eastern red seed red cedar trees that fell um, in the forest on our property but it's so naughty the eastern red cedar it was I could not get a perfect looking piece as much as I tried um, so I think uh, the white oak would be a better choice in our area. We don't have the western, obviously the western red cedar tree where we are uh, growing naturally in its habitat. So, But that's where a lot of the cedar shingles come from, the western uh, red cedar out west, western part of the United States. So the eastern red is just not a good choice around here because it's so naughty. Um, anyway, so... This is just me making kindling, fun stuff. Um, I just have so much fun doing this. This is obviously a hobby. I know y'all been watching. Those of you have been, who have been watching know that this is my hobby and I really enjoy doing this stuff. And I've only had this log splitter for a week or two, something like that. So it's just, it's such, just so much more fun. I do enjoy hand splitting and I told my wife I'll probably end up getting pretty soft because I don't hand split anymore so I'm going to have to start doing it supplement hand splitting you know so Lauren doesn't complain when she when I give her a hug <laughs> but um, this is just fun stuff so I'm going to set these kindling pieces in a pile I'm going to make a little pile get it off the ground on a pallet and probably let it season I don't know, four to six months or so. I just want to see how it's going to season. I don't normally put kindling in a pile 
and leave it exposed to the elements to see how long it's going to season. But it shouldn't take long because my wood yard is the way I position the pallets. Pallets is it's facing directly south, and it gets you know each side of the wood, the open grain side. Um, so it's really helped how fast I can season the wood. And the poplar is supposed to season pretty quickly anyway. So we'll see how quickly that will uh, season and be ready to ready to burn. So hope you all have a great day and uh, really enjoyed uh, making kindling with that poplar.